Andrea from SWL and I have noticed from comments on my page that some people are quite confused about the functions and settings on the Chodosen SR286. It's a wonderful radio. It's a top performing radio. It's pricey, but it gives you so many options and settings to personalize, which I think really justifies the price. Also, of course, the terrific reception. So despite the fact that this radio doesn't have SSB, in my opinion, it remains one of the best radios available on the market at the moment. So I'm going to run through some of the basic functions here just to give you a little bit of a kickstart when you unpack this radio for the first time. There is a link in the description of this video where you can also find the manual. So as soon as you unpack the radio, you probably want to set the time. To do that, you need to select your time zone first. So you press this M tone button and when you press and hold, it will give you various time zones. I will just scroll through until I find mine, which is Cairo on this one. Press page once to confirm. It's got my time zone now. And then as soon as you've selected your time zone, then you can adjust the time. So remember to do it in that order. First select the time zone, then adjust the time. To adjust the time, you press and hold page. There is the clock. You turn the tuning dial to find the time. Right now, where I am, it is 14.55, so 14, page 55, page set. This year, you can select if you want the time to adjust according to the RDS data or keep it on manual. I keep mine on manual. I find that the RDS data is not always correct, so confirm. Right, so that's my local time, that's the big time displaying, and there is a world time. So you can go back now to the time zones and select the world time that you would like to display there. And I want that to be GMT, so UTC. There it is, enter page, and it's displaying. Right, so now you've got the two times that you can see at a glance. You've got your local time, the big one, and up there, the world time, the one that I selected, is UTC. You can see the time even shows the seconds. So that's the first thing we want to do, set the time. It's done. You press and hold the set button to do that. There it is. And then quick press the set button again to select the correct mode for you. So I want medium wave 9K. Okay, that's done. Press and hold set button again. And with the tuning dial, you can then toggle between all the other options. So you can select FM RDS or RBDS for the US. I just want RDS. And when you press page, it's saved. Long wave, switch it on and off. All these functions are here when you press and hold set and you to toggle between them using the tuning dial. By default, when you get the radio, like so many of these radios, the beep button will be on. The, wh whichever button you press, there will be a beep. So if you want to get rid of that, you just need to press and hold the RDS button there. Now you see beep is on and now it's off. Okay, so we've done our basic settings. We've selected our... Uh, steps for medium wave, the frequency band that we want to use, then we can switch on the radio and start using it. So switch on, it will always show that boot function. Let me just turn down the volume. To switch between the bands, it's fairly easy. You only have these two buttons here. There's AM for all the AM bands and FM. So if you press the AM one, it will take you to, that's medium wave. Press it again, takes you to short wave. Press it again, there we are in long wave. So let's go to short wave. For tuning, you have a wide variety of functions. So to be certain that you are in frequency mode, page. You see, when I press page, now I'm in page mode. Press it again, I'm in frequency mode. So in frequency mode, like most other radios, 
you can simply enter the frequency just directly you can search automatically by holding in this auto search function here up or down so just hold it in and it will search in the direction that you selected you can turn the tuning dial and find them that way in shortwave you can toggle between the different bands by using these buttons here you can see there it says meter plus meter minus so if I press meter plus I will go to the next meter band the next meter band you see I'm jumping now between the different bands we'll go down again jumping between the different bands so that's a quick way to go between different bands it's also got an interesting function that if you enter only one digit on the keypad like let's say I'm going to press 6 it will take me to 6000 now automatically you see so it jumps quickly to that frequency and then you can turn around there again you can also with the tuning dial if you press it in it gives you various different tuning options you see there is an auto stop fast and slow auto stop then it doesn't work fast so that will be in five kilohertz steps or whatever steps you've selected because you can do that i'm not going to talk about that in this video but that is something that you can do um, auto is an interesting one when you put it in auto and you turn the dial just once now it will search automatically and find the next one so you've got the auto function there and you have the auto function yeah that's really quite quite nice I think that's a very very interesting search function so those are the various search functions now if you want to do a, a automatic search and save scan you just hold in the AM or the FM button depending on which band you are in so I am in shortwave now but let's do it on medium wave because there's almost nothing there now it will be a quick search and I hold this it will do an automatic search and it will find and save so the stations are saved in pages these pages are by bands so as you can see medium wave starts at page 30 shortwave if I go to shortwave and I old page starts at page 45 so you can see in the manual where the pages are now you can actually even go in here and change the name of the page which is also really quite a cool function I think in medium wave let's talk about the antenna in medium wave you can turn the internal ferrite antenna off which means then that the whip antenna becomes your antenna you can select so it becomes an external antenna and when you've selected in medium wave the external antenna you can also plug in something like this loop antenna from Texan or any other external antenna I'm actually going to show you how that works so let me just go to you can see I'm in page mode now I want to go to frequency mode I'm going to select a frequency here which is um, Lesotho radio Lesotho broadcasting corporation it's about 350 kilometers away it's daytime here now so that signal if it's here it's going to be quite weak but let's see if we find it okay so what I'm going to show you here now is I'm on Lesotho Broadcasting Corporation LBC 639 kilohertz from Lesotho I will show it on the internal ferrite antenna so to switch between the antennas you have to be in AM mode it will not work when you're in shortwave mode you press and hold the page and AM button if I'm doing that you can see now it says antenna external and there's nothing there it's not picking it up on the web press and hold it again now I'm on antenna internal so that is the internal ferrite antenna so I'm going to just record this sound quickly with the internal antenna and then plug in the external AN200 antenna so that you can see the difference when you use an external antenna there. Yeah, let's do it.
So that's switching between internal and external antenna for medium wave and long wave as well is really great. As you saw there, when I use my external Texan AN200 loop, I actually pick up this fairly distant signal during daytime, which the internal ferrite antenna doesn't pick up very well at all. Okay, and then in shortwave mode, you can also switch the antenna amplifier on and off because there is an antenna amplifier, which also helps with putting in weak signals. That doesn't work on medium wave, but it does work on short wave. So I'm going to find a short wave signal now, and I will show you the difference between switching the antenna amplifier on and off, which you do by pressing page and zero, holding both of them in at the same time. You can see there it's off, and there it is on. I will have it off, and Let's search for a station quickly. So you could see there, when I switched the antenna amplifier on, the signal became quite a bit stronger. It does work quite well on, on weak signals. Uh, on stronger signals, obviously, the difference is not that big. And then your bandwidth settings, that's actually quite easy because you can see there is a button here that says bandwidth. So in shortwave, you can simply press that and you will toggle between your bandwidths. Shortwave, there's only 3, 4, 6, and 8K. But in FM, let's go to FM, you have a ton of bandwidths. I don't know, I think there's 17 or 18. You just toggle between them by pressing this bandwidth button. And while we are in FM, let me just show you the RDS functions. To activate or deactivate RDS, you need to switch on the radio and then press and hold page and RDS. So page RDS, there it's off, page RDS, there it's on. Okay, and during the settings right at the start where I showed you, that's where you would have selected whether you have RDS or RBDS, the one for the US. Now with the RDS on, you just toggle through the different various RDS displays by pressing the RDS button, as you can see there gives me some information. Let me just show you one other thing in FM. Well, it doesn't actually matter which band you are in. You can actually mute the sound completely. I will just turn it up loudly. That button there, when you, the one there that says edit, you can see there's a little mute sound indication there. So if the sound is on and you want to switch it off just momentarily, you press that ed edit button and it will be off. Now there is one more interesting sound setting that I want to talk about today, and that is you can switch between voice mode and music mode. And that you simply do by pressing this M tone button. I will show you now. Van vandaag af, conquistador van die groep Argentina. Dit is nou ons Don Quixote herinneringen vandaag. Ken je die TVRX? Ken je het dan nou? Don Quixote. Uh, die uh, Servikaanse en die ver Afrikaanse ver oorklanken was in Zuid-Afrika uitgesaai. Ken je het nou wanneer nie? Okay, so I think I will end there. I've discussed really a lot of basic functions today. There are various others. You can really personalize this radio. Maybe just the very last one that I will show. If you are in shortwave, let's just switch it on again and go to shortwave. And let's say 
you feel that you have some interference from the screen, you can actually just switch off the screen display completely. And you do that by pressing and holding this number three and this number one. As you can see there, it says DIS display, press and hold together. And there you go, you see the screen is off. So if you think there's interference from the screen display, switch it on and off, press and hold one and three. If there's anything else specifically that you would like to know about this radio, how to use it, maybe you can ask some questions in the comments and I'll gather them all together. And then if there's a need, I will make another video and discuss some more of the functions. But enjoy the radio. It's a terrific radio. Once you get to know it and really get to know how to use all the functions. For me personally, it's going to be very hard to go back to many of my other radios just because this one is so excellent.